Hey, my lovely YouTubers, it's me, Morgan Tracy J, coming today with the Women's Wednesday Chat. Well, if you're new here, I just wanna let you know that every Wednesday, I just answer you guys' questions. And so if you ever have a question, you can submit it at my website, hisdaughterscloset.com. I always have great resources there for you, but also you can ask me questions and I can possibly answer them right here on my YouTube channel. Well guys, this week I actually want to address being single set apart and how to actually blossom in it and flourish into the woman you're supposed to be, okay? Because recently I've got a lot of questions about women in their singleness, women and, you know, just not really embracing it, women not being able to get over their exes. There's just a lot of questions in that. And so today I want to address that, okay? So today I actually I'm going to take this a little bit different because this question hits so home for me. Because in the beginning of my walk, I was not happy about my singleness. I actually did not like it. I felt like I wasn't pretty. I felt like I was ugly. I had a lot of unworthiness and rejection tied to my singleness. And so it just was kind of forced upon me. And I did not like it. And so I want to say, if you're in that boat out there, trust me, I've been there. And I want to tell you that one thing that we have to start doing is we have to quit thinking or planning or preparing for the man of our dreams and start becoming the women of our dreams. You know, for the longest time, I thought I wanted a man like this and I wanted this, but I did never started thinking about what kind of woman do I want to be? I want to tell you how you attract the man of your dreams is you first start becoming the woman of your dreams. You have to decide that the woman that lives within your mind that God continuously shows you you have to decide that you want to pursue her over pursuing a man I know it gets really challenging and it's hard to be content in your season of singleness but I want to tell you every season has purpose just as I told you in a couple videos ago a thorn your thorn has purpose the thing that hurts you if you can't get over your ex if you're you're struggling with something that thorn has purpose but also that thorn has protection I think you need to quit looking at that hurt in your heart as such a negative thing and actually say God teach me your purpose but also protect me I I realized the reason why I uh, flourished in my singleness is because of my thorn because my thorn wouldn't let me go get into new relationships because that pain in my heart wouldn't let me just go lay in bed with any other guy anymore actually what it did is it protected me too it protected me from just giving myself over just to anybody I want to tell you something that is so beautiful about being single and set apart and how you flourish in it is if you understand the Word of God I want to tell you Hosea 3 3 God is talking to Hosea about his prostitute wife and he says bring her back but let her be alone for many days where she will not have men nor will she prostitute she won't go do the things that she used to do anymore and I God will wait for her I want to tell you God says that there's a reason why he sits you by yourself because he has to take off that dirty stuff that you have been putting on yourself for so long there's a reason why God made me sit through a year and a half of no men pursuing me I mean no guy would pursue me I swear like no one there's a reason why he made me sit through that. It was truly because if I would have just jumped back into it, I would have never learned my lesson. I would have went back to my vomit. I would have went back to my idol. I would have went back to the thing that was holding me captive. I want to tell you, God is saying, there's a reason why he sets you down. It tells us in a Hosea 3.3, he needs you to be by yourself. He needs you to sit down. He needs you to be away for a while. You don't need to go back to that man or to that old relationship or those old ways of thinking. He's going to sit you down and he's going to clean you up. He's going to show you how a father is going to pursue you. He's going to show you the true love. He's going to let you see that his love has no boundaries. I want to tell you that is what God is telling you today. That how you are being single and set apart is you embrace the set apart side. Sometimes it's hard for you to embrace your singleness because you can't embrace that you're set apart. It's good to be set apart. It's good that God called you to be by yourself for a little bit. It's good that God has given you this alone time to work on yourself. I want to tell you if you're going to be single, embrace the set apart side. There's some blessings in being set apart. There's some blessings. There's some revelation. There's some gifts and being set apart. I am not even the woman. I wouldn't have been this woman if it wasn't for God making me embrace the set apart side. I couldn't even embrace the singleness because I didn't want to embrace being set apart. I didn't want to embrace that God was going to set me by myself for a while because there were things he needed to work on in my spirit. I want to tell you today how you flourish and how you blossom in your singleness is you don't get caught up on the boy that left you. You don't get caught up on the friends that left you. You don't get caught up on the rejection and the unworthiness. But what you get focused on, you put your energy back into yourself. The energy you was putting into those relationships, you pour it back into yourself. The emotions you was putting into those relationships, you put it back into yourself. Invest time in yourself. Stop looking for the man of your dreams. 
and become the woman of your dreams. It's hard, it's not always gonna be easy, you're gonna miss them, you're gonna get memories, your dog is gonna bark sometimes, things are gonna happen. But what I wanna tell you is you have to keep going. God is saying, if there he called you to singleness, he needs you to not only embrace the singleness part, but to embrace the set apart part. You're set apart for a reason. If you want help in your singleness, if you wanna flourish, if you wanna blossom, if you wanna become content with your season and quit looking for Mr. Right, start putting the work back into yourself. How you become content is you no longer need revenge. It says the best revenge is actually no revenge, but focusing on yourself so much that you become the better version of yourself. So today, my lovely ladies, the daughters of God, God is saying, if you are single, embrace being set apart in your singleness. Embrace that he's called you to be by yourself for a while. Embrace that he's called you to learn about yourself, to learn about others. Embrace that he's called you to gain this wisdom from him. There's a reason you're being single right now. There's a reason why he has you to himself. And one thing I will tell you is God will wait for you. The man you have is will wait for you. The man that God has for you will wait for you. Don't think you're missing out on him because you're being single right now. No, no, no. He will wait for you. The God, the man that God has will wait for you. Amen. God tells us in the word. So I want to tell you today, don't stress about it. Don't look, run off looking for Mr. Right that you get with Mr. Wrong. Actually embrace this sit down and blossom through it. How you blossom in your singleness, how you embrace it, how you flourish, is you decide that you're no longer looking for the man of your dreams, but you're deciding that you're gonna become the woman of your dreams. All right, guys, I love you so much. I pray you got blessed by this. I will see you in my next video. Be sure you like, you subscribe, but also you share this with any of your girlfriends, your friend that you know is single. Share it with her. Share it with anybody that can uplift them and empower them. So, guys, I love you. If you ever have a question, submit it at my website, hisdaughtersclosset.com, and I will see you guys in my next video.